this mother effort tonight. Oh. oh, Johnson. Nice uppercut from Gates. He caught him flush on the chin, and Johnson's rocked now, and Gates has got to walk him down and unload. Johnson's legs oh. are not there. Uppercut, right hand, big uppercut again, and it's Gates' moment. Can he close the show? Johnson covering up, stumbling backwards. He's bloodied, he's beaten, Boy, but he's like not it. finished. I like it, chopping the legs down, being smart about this. He's not rushing it, he knows he hasn't hurt. He knows he's got him tired. I think Gaethje's tired too. I don't know why he didn't jump on him there. I mean, both guys going for it here and expending a lot of energy. It's an instant classic no matter what Ooh. happens, a leg kick. Johnson's legs are shot. Way bad sign for Johnson. Almost looking like he wants to pull guard. Both guys exhausted. There's no way this goes five rounds. They may both have to tap out because of exhaustion. 20 seconds left in round two. Can Johnson survive? That's no, it. he cannot. Justin Gaethje with his ultimate highlight. Nice body kick there from Vic. Well, a couple, and he goes up top as well. Big right from Gaethje, and down goes Vic. Justin Gaethje is back and sticks the landing once again. Barbosa already taking some leg damage, these boys. Yeah, Gaethje with some. Oh! Like Justin Gaethje. Whoa. Oh, right from Gaethje. Cerrone takes it in. He's oh, taken off by the Schmidt. He's hurt back. Gaethje he's has him down. It's over. Justin oh, Gaethje by first round knockout again. Holy smoke, Justin Gaethje has some power. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh my goodness. How many shots can one human being take? I think this has to be a record for right here, fight ending shots taken by one person. Well, this is not a regular human, right? Yeah. This, Tony Ferguson is not a regular human. He is. Most up. people would be unconscious at this yeah. point. I mean, in the first round from some of the strikes, he took those punches fresh, and now he's taking them beaten up. He checks it again. Every every kick he's checked. Come on, Tony. Oh, 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 he's hurt. He's hurt real he's bad. Real hurt. Oh, he's hurt oh, bad. Yeah. They're gonna stop the fight. That's it! Oh, yeah. Justin Gaethje oh, yeah. will stop Tony Ferguson in wow. round five! He's the that UFC Zero Lightweight oh, Champion! Justin Chin is refreshed. He has taken some massive shots from Chandler. Oh! oh. Nasty left by Justin. Oh, oh. Nathan Chandler didn't appear to land. Oh, he 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 did. Gaethje wobbled! Oh, needed the body from Chandler. Chandler, though, has a couple cuts here already. Big one above the eyebrow. Oh, my crowd. goodness. Chandler got hurt bad with an uppercut. Oh, oh. He got hit. Take down here from Chandler. Chandler's in on a single leg. He's got to hide his head. Gaethje just got to keep on striking. That was beautiful by Justin Gaethje. Look at him. Pushing up the hips, trying to slide away. This fight, and I got to think a lot of them are going to watch this thing back after the, the end of the pay-per-view. I cannot believe we got to the final decision. Wow. What a fight. Justin Gaethje and Michael insane. Chandler now connected forever. That was insane. And you knew Ladies that. and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. The judges score the contest 29 28, 29 28, and 30 27 for the winner by unanimous decision, Justin the Highlight over the top lands for the American. And more importantly, nicely defended by Fazeev. The takedown I'm talking about. Yep.
you know, th that might be the one and only that we see from Justin. Yeah. He might be like, no, I tried that, that to take you down in round that one. That was massive, though. That was massive for Gaethje to show him something. Nice. Beautiful combination from Gaethje. That was a beautiful combination. Like you said, John, fantastic. When Fazeev goes, when Fazeev goes conventional is when Gaethje should start throwing leg kicks. Oh. Oh! Both fighters landing there, but Gaethje punctuates the sequence with a right hand. Fazeev has a tremendous... 35 seconds! Oh my goodness, look at his eye. Oh! Huge uppercut for Gaethje! Fazeev somehow continues to press forward under 30 seconds now to go. Oh my goodness, what a fight. Gaethje doling out the damage late. I mean, this is it. I mean, you hear the chance of KG. He says, I don't need to wrestle, but I've got it in my back pocket. And he's right. He doesn't need, because he's gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the best strikers in the UFC. And he's probably going to get the decision. Oh, and there's the takedown to finish. And a late takedown for the All-American for good measure. A live underdog, to be sure. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Mark Collette scores the contest. 29-28, Gaethje. Clemens Werner scores it, 29-28. And Paul Sutherland scores it, 28-28. For the winner, by majority decision, Justin, the Highline Gaethje. Left-hand connection for Justin up top. And again. Dustin has really benefited from not only his fight style, but those two wins over Conor McGregor. You beat Conor McGregor, man, your level of starting really raises. And Dustin Poirier, with all the skills and those victories, is a bona fide star. KG fans being heard from now, about a minute gone by round two. Oh! Justin Gaethje has done it in Salt Lake with a 